I want to share with you real quick one of the ways that the world's most resilient people are able to overcome extreme suffering, loss, devastation. Look, we've all had battles. We all go through things that are bad. Some of the things I might understand because I've been there. Some things I may not have been where you've been and I don't entirely understand it. But there are a lot of people out there who do understand something you may be going through. And I realized something in one of the talks I was giving recently on resilience in my keynote speech called How to Stand Firm When Everything Around You Is Blowing Up. And I realized something about one of the points that I teach that I never taught before. And one of the points that I teach is that people who are extremely resilient and they're able to overcome extremely devastating circumstances, one of the, thing, one of the things they do is they search for meaning. They try to find meaning in the suffering. And there's like, there's, I really, I've kind of found there's three levels to this. You've gone through the pain and one, you're searching for the meaning. Not knowing if you'll ever actually find any resolution. That's what's really hard because it could be five days, five years, or 50 years, or never. All right, and you all kind of know, if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. It's It can be a great place to despair. Um, by the way, a great guy named Viktor Frankl actually defined despair as suffering without meaning. But back to my point, one of the th one of the things about meaning is that some people, you know, they're in the process where they're searching for meaning in their suffering, in their experience, and they've not yet found it. Other people, they somehow stumbled across something that gave meaning to their suffering. And it wasn't really their doing, but they found it. That was like the case after I was injured by the suicide bomber in Afghanistan, and my first mentor, Dave Reaver, tossed me up on stage um, for the first time ever to tell my story. And a young lady told me afterwards that she had been raped and molested and abused and all this horrible stuff but that if I survived everything I went through, that she thought she could also get through and win her battles too. That changed my life. I found meaning in my suffering. However, I didn't construct that. That just, it happened. I believe it was divine. It changed the course of my life. Then there's a third thing. Then there's a third part of this process. Then the people who are extremely resilient, a lot of times what they'll do is they will create meaning in their suffering. And here's what I mean. And look, existentially, philosophically, spiritually, this goes a lot deeper than I have time to go into. But just on a very practical level, um, I was speaking in Cancun last year for a great company with wonderful people, for some financial advisors, for their 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 leadership um, their leadership trip. Like their high achievers got to go on this trip. Very exclusive. And while I was there, I met this amazing older couple by the last name of Griffin. And the Griffins, this husband and wife from Indiana, they had lost their son in Afghanistan. He was in the army, just like I was. If you remember my story, I was blown up twice. My first vehicle I was not injured in. The suicide bombing was the second one. Well, the first vehicle I was blown up in was in the Argandab Valley of Afghanistan. It turns out that Griffin's son was killed in, a, in the same kind of explosion as the one I survived in the Argandab province of Afghanistan, the Argandab Valley, a very deadly place. And so what did this mother and father do when they lost their son? These people, they inspire me. One, their pain is never going away, by the way. The hole in their hearts, the loss of their son, they'll never not feel that. But here's what they did. Eventually, they got to a point where they decided to open up this outdoor bike park. It's like, I don't know, 100 acres or more. It's this huge outdoor bike park with hills and jumps and everything for BMX bikes, bicycles, for the community. And it's called Griffin Bike Park. It's located in Terre Haute, Indiana. And they not only dedicated it by name to their son, they dedicated the entire thing to all the Indiana soldiers who have been killed in action in combat. So they've honored more than just their son. And they turned this tragedy, this horrible thing, this loss that they'll never entirely get past into this beautiful thing 
that they can share with the community and bring people together and honor the memory of who their son was. Yeah. Wow. You see, they weren't just searching for meaning. They probably were for a time. It doesn't sound like they had a divine moment like I did where I happened to find it. But they created meaning in their suffering. They created something meaningful that gave even more meaning to their suffering. And and just it just helped them get resolution. Because at the end of the day, if you've been hurt, if you've lost a loved one, if you've been through something we all have, you're just looking for resolution in some way, shape, or form that will give you some relief. That's what most of us are going through. So I want to ask you, where are you? Whatever it is you're going through, where are you? Are you still searching for it? Don't ever stop searching. And even if you find some meaning, like there's probably more that you're not seeing. So always be searching. You might get a divine moment like I did, meeting that young lady. But you have no control over that. So what I want to do is encourage you, look around. Look at your life. Look at what you've been through. Look at your pain very transparently. And ask yourself, how can I create meaning in this? How can I create something meaningful that helps me resolve what I'm going through? But also, don't forget this. This is important. It'll also serve and help other people in some way also. That's where a lot of the best healing will come from is when you're doing something that's serving other people in a way that's bigger than just you. So look for the thing that can help heal you, but also always be asking the question, how can this also help other people? Be like the Griffins. Create meaning out of the suffering that you've been through and a whole new world awaits you on the other side of this thing. So I hope you're encouraged by that. This is a real life example. I've been through pain myself and uh, you know, ask yourself, look at your life right now. Am I creating anything meaningful through my suffering? If so, what? And is it helping other people? Could it help other people?